Okay, so today I am doing Roberta Close. She is the doll of the day. She's a model and television personality from the 1980s, 1990s. That's when she was at the height of her fame. She was classified, like basically talked about as one of the uh, biggest Brazilian sex symbols of the 80s. So beautiful. I can't even begin to tell you like look at these photos you can really see she radiates she is stunning her beauty is so effortless she looks like walking art like she hardly has any makeup on why does she look flawless like that you know so the skin and eyes um are kind of based on her whole career she's always done something very very simple um very natural and kind of clean looking uh, so I wanted to do that here and the lips are inspired. She wears a raspberry kind of color in some photos So I wanted to make sure that I went ahead and kind of tried to nail that I'm so happy with how it turned out. I absolutely love the skin. There's no foundation and no concealer on this um, But it still does take a bit to perfect. I find a lot of makeup artists are really good at doing makeup, but it's harder to do no makeup makeup you know what I mean where it actually doesn't look like the person's wearing any um so yeah I really hope you guys enjoy the video thank you so much for watching it truly means more to me than I can ever put into words and I hope you have a lovely day bye okay everyone so this video is actually a bit more focused on the hair so we're gonna start there um the reason for that is because Roberta always had flawless hair so what I'm doing is I'm not doing anything too um, perfect or uniform. I'm just adding heat to my hair so that I can go ahead and put it in these huge rollers. These huge rollers are what's going to give the look of a super big blowout, lots of drama with just a little bit of a flip. I could have done this video a few days later because I cut my hair, <laughs> but... That's besides the point. We did it with longer hair, which is fine. Um, I just cut some shorter layers in my hair. And that would look lovely with this, but whatever. So for products, I used the um, Tresemme uh, Dry Shampoo, the volume one. And then I used the Got To Be Powderful, uh, the powder that gives you the volume. Um, I love that. That's a little hint for teasing as well too. It adds a really nice grip to the hair. Then we're going ahead and we're using the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. Um, the makeup on this is very, very minimal. So you'll see I still use, you know, Catrice Prime and Fine Primer and, you know, some blush, bronzer, highlighter, but I don't use foundation, concealer, powder, things like that. So right now I'm going in with the e.l.f. Bahamas Putty Blush. I love these for a natural look because it doesn't give you as dewy of a look or as wet of a look as a liquid or cream would give, um, but because it's more of a bouncier kind of product, it gives... Um, a softer appearance, you know what I mean? Um, I want it to be very natural and very like, I woke up like this. So I used it all along the perimeter of my face as well as my chin and my nose and my eyelids. So it was pretty much everywhere except for my cheeks. And I go ahead and add on the e.l.f. tan lines. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I got it backwards. So the bronzer is tan lines, and the blush is Bahamas. So I use along the perimeter of my face the e.l.f. tan lines putty bronzer, and then for blush, I used the e.l.f. Bahamas putty blush. That's what I'm using here. It's this beautiful orange color. Uh, kind of gives me just had a day out in the sun, unsure if this is going to turn into a sunburn. You know what I mean? And then I used the e.l.f. bubbly jelly highlighter but I used bare minimum of it um, on my cheeks and on my eyelids for that kind of wet eyelid look 
for a little bit of a glow on my bronzer on my forehead, I use the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter. I think it's in the color 4. It doesn't have a color on it, so just keep that in mind. Um, and to add a bit more kind of bronze to the cheek, I use the Maybelline Medium Master Strobing Liquid. So really focusing on the skin... But like I said, still no concealer, foundation, powder, anything like that. You can use that if you want to. It's just I really wanted to go for the Roberta Close where she is like wearing literally hardly any makeup. I think a lot of it is no makeup and she just looks that flawless, but I do not. <laughs> So I didn't want to like cover my freckles up or anything like that because in a lot of photos that's what she has. So that's what I wanted to kind of play off of. So that's that jelly highlighter from e.l.f. that you see there. And I am just applying that, you know, in the areas I mentioned. Only on the bottom lash line, not in the waterline. I'm using the Made by Mitchell Tiger's Eye All Smudge No Budge Pencil. This is just going to make it look like you have more lashes on the bottom. It's not going to give you any definitive kind of sharp line. Then I'm using the Crown Case Wine Colored Pencil. And for the lip color, I'm using... The Major Attitude Velvet Trap Lipstick from Jeffree Star, as well as the Holy Fashion Velvet Trap Lipstick. For layages, I'm using the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Beach Proof Mascara, which was my previous video, a review I did of a cry test. I would love if you would check that out, by the way. Then I'm just cleaning up the mascara with a Q-tip. For hair, you can see I didn't do anything um, super perfected or anything um I threw them up in the roller you know what I mean so it was like totally I ordered McMinimum from McDonald's like that type of thing McMinimum uh so yeah I'd go ahead and take those out and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a wide tooth brush or a wide tooth comb sorry my apologies and use that to tease along the hairline and along my length a wide tooth brush or Oh my gosh, a wide tooth comb is not going to give a super defined tease. It's going to give more of a fluffy tease. So that's what we want. We want the back combing to be a bit more fluffy and 80s and less um, defined, I guess. That's the only word I can really use. Uh, so we, I guess you'd want it to be less packed down in one area, Um but yeah, I loved how this turned out. I loved the volume. Like I said, it would probably be more voluminous now. Maybe I'll revisit this hairstyle one day in a different tutorial. But I loved how it looked with my longer layers. So yeah, and then I just used some Got To Be Glued spray and flipped it over a couple times. And Bob's your uncle. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye!